Do we have too much higher education in Wisconsin? Was that a driver of your proposal? I don't think we do. I think we may have <coughs> too much infrastructure uh, because with given changes um, in technology and other ways of delivering higher education, I believe that uh, we, there's not as much dependent on infrastructure. How do we better serve students with modern tools and efficiencies that um, the old infrastructure doesn't support? This is a major proposal that would fold the 13 two-year colleges into each of the, um, it would reassign them. What's the best term? Restructure, merger, realign? <sighs> I'm not sure what the best term is. We use restructure. Restructure. Recognizing that the demographics that we face in this state with the um, very little growth in 18 to 64 year olds, I think it's something like four, four tenths point, of one percent. Four tenths of one percent projected for the next 30 years. And that doesn't bode well for a number of those campuses in the smaller communities and rural areas, et cetera. What was the original mission of our two-year colleges? Access, access, access. And for who? For anyone. For anyone. There are some wonderful things happening in Wisconsin, though, that I think um, distinguish us from other Midwestern states that are experiencing these demographic challenges. Let's start with Foxconn. Um, that will stress us in terms of number of employees that they need, uh, that we need to educate and help prepare for that uh, workforce. But it isn't just Foxconn. Every business that I talk to is in need of talent right now. Since 2007, 95 to 99 percent of all hires, new jobs, require some college. You hear these anecdotal stories about, well, Johnny has a degree and he can't get a job. He's sleeping on a couch in a basement. Believe me, those are the exception, not the norm. There's probably something wrong with Johnny. Nothing personal. <laughs>